Drea here, and today we are going to talk about Isaiah, specifically chapter 40, verse 8. Um, it talks about how things fade, uh, which is completely true, um, but I guess I'm wondering how we keep this from derailing us while we try to navigate, you know, the everyday things that we have going on here on Earth. Uh, when we're wrapped up in, in all of our futures and planning for those things. And honestly, I don't have the answers. But I know we're meant for great things and using our gifts. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm using gesso. And it's thicker than I imagined. I really, my intention was not to cover up the words. Um, but it does dry a little lighter. And so I think next time... I'll try something different. Uh, but what I'm doing here is I'm taking the Wow God um, stamp set and I'm using that line and actually making grass using two different tones of green. And that's going to be uh, the bottom of my base. I'm kind of making a, a bit of a scene. So um, you'll see that I start off by just doing uh, the, the margin, put everything away. I clean my stamp and then realize that since I've already gessoed the whole entire page, I figure I might as well just go for it. Um, and the verse is actually right in the middle of the page, so uh, I'm gonna still be working around it so that I don't uh, cover up those particular words. So I'm just using a couple of the memento colors, and I will uh, make sure that those get linked in the video so that you know what colors they are. And then I'm just gonna remove my a butcher paper and start to make a sky. So I'm gonna start with an orange and I'm I, I'm not good at mixed media. That's that's it's not my thing. So I'm just kind of using what I have and I realized that I was kind of making this orange go all the way across the top and I thought well that's just silly that's not what the sun looks like. So I just made kind of a circle shape with the corner pointed uh, pointed edge of my stamp and then I added blue to go cross and cover up some of that orange that really didn't make any sense there. I'm taking a very 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 damp paper towel and just um, blending and kind of smushing so that it resembles a bit more of a sky and I'm kind of pulling some of the blue down just a little bit. And then I'm going to basically just spell out you know that verse in different alphas from Bella Boulevard and I'm gonna use the same plastic trick that I used last time so that I can kind of just figure out where where things go and I'm saving room on the left side of uh, the two first sentences or the two first statements and you'll see what I do there but for now, I've figured out where I want the letters, and I'm just, I'm just placing them down now. So I've used a label and some different um, words and things to... I didn't want any handwriting on this because I don't really know how that works on the gesso, so I just wanted to kind of keep it all alphas. And then at this point, I'm trying to take one of the other stamps and do the T, the H, and the E, even though it just says heart. But then I realized it was I didn't have enough space. So I found a, a stamp set from, I, I think I received it as a giveaway, so I'm not even sure who the manufacturer is. But it has the word the in a real nice little script. So I'm just using the black and putting uh, it right before each of those stamp, uh, each of those words. And then just be careful with new stamps, they tend to stick, so those, uh, my letters came up a bit. Now I'm using this big, huge, numbered stamp to put um, the verse on the very top, and I'm just going to put it right over the sun and the sky. These number stamps are so perfect um, for notating the verses, it's really cool. And because my stamp block is a bit too big, I'm having to remove the 8, put it on a smaller one, and just kind of get it in the corner a little bit there. And then I just, I, this may not be the right way to do it, but I clean my stamps with a baby wipe and that I keep inside of a plastic bag. And now I'm just tracing around the heart and the white label and just trying here to figure out 
um, kind of what else to do. And I have these other Illustrated Faith stamps uh, that have this cool flower. And I just figure since we're talking about flowers and talking about grass, that the flower uh, would be a great thing to use. And it even comes with these cute little um, leaves. So I've stamped those just up on top of one of the blades of grass. And then I'm outlining with the Illustrated Faith journaling pen just so it gives it some definition and then I've just picked three tones a pink and two oranges to just kind of blend in the the color of that flower and then just using a, a green and you'll see this in just a sec <laughs> a green to just fill in a little bit of those leaves and at this point I do want to somehow um, make or highlight the actual verse. And so after I put on this little tab, I'm just gonna underline the eight and then the two lines. And then I'm gonna take that line again and use that real light colored green and just highlight right over it. And that's it. We are all finished. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye.